Hey, this is a podcast. No, wait, it's a comedy podcast. Well, we tried to make it a comedy podcast and uh, it's not meant to offend anyone. So don't get offended, okay? And wait, there's something else. Oh yeah, yeah, listener discretion is advised. Audiomatic presents Our Last Week. Hi, Kuna. Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi. Pal. Oh. How are you, Kuna? Good, good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm well. You're just... Uh, that's not true, right? Because you said it so quickly. <laughs> Some, Something must be wrong. Yeah, I, I've been told you're shooting and you have strenuous days well the days are strenuous but also uh, i've i've had to go go through some sort of physical transformation yeah correct, well, correct. Not, not working out and all that but just like they've uh, they've changed your look my look has yeah, changed yeah. yeah from creepy to creepier much creepier yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 that's one of the benefits of being a short fat round middle-aged man hmm. is there's not much they can do with you Hmm. You know, if if I was an actor, yeah. which I'm not, <laughs> but if I was, there's they would look and they would say, "Yeah, कुछ नहीं होगा यहाँ पर." Like hmm. the costume and the hair person, they would just decide. Yeah, there's not much. Whereas you've been an actor for many years, and your body's gone through quite a lot. You've lost weight, you've gained weight, right. you've lost hair, you've gained hair. Yeah, yeah. You've coloured your hair. I've coloured it now. You, uh, for certain motion pictures, you've had thick moustaches. Yes, you've been clean I had shaven. A, I just recently day. had a nice, nice, big handlebar moustache. Indeed, you did. Uh, you've never played other genders. I, uh, I've played a, I've played a woman in an ad. Hmm. Um, I mean, it was a spoofish. So yeah, but I. But have, in the ad, were you a man dressed as a woman, or or were you a woman? I was a woman. I was a That's man. I was good. also a woman. Yeah. I was also a doctor. I was also a baby. Is I was it a anything. budget constraint? Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> they said we get one guy. Yeah, or we could hire a family. I think it was at the height of COVID, and they didn't yeah. want too much, uh, too many other people on the set. Yeah. So or no said, other people. None. <laughs> yeah, they so, wanted zero other people. So they just said, "You they, just get him to do all." It's, it's okay. Just, just he's the. He's, see, that'll never happen with me. No. You know, like if they say, "What else can this guy do?" Hmm, hmm. You know, they'd all be like, "Sir, I don't think he can do anything else." But I, I've always thought that there is scope in, um, uh, if it were different species. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if it was, yeah. if you were, if you were to step out of human, I think then you'd really the world would be your oyster. <laughs> we need an ad where we need a short, fat, round Bengali man and a bison. Yeah. Same guy, guy. He can do both. No, I know a guy. Yeah, yeah. He can do both these things. Yeah. You know, I need an elk. Yeah, a penguin, a, a moose, <laughs> and a short accountant. Anuvapal. He's, <laughs> he's your free, man. He's free. Yeah. He's totally free. Kura. Yes. You hmm. had a conundrum that was literally out of this world. You know, I, uh, I, I, I'm quite fascinated by space. Mm. I'm sure many people are, and I'm quite fascinated by this new telescope. Yes, the James Webb telescope, yeah. which they've they've sent out into space, and it's gotten quite far. And now it's sending all these images back. It's so quite gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I'm very bad with space. Mm-hmm. Meaning, like I've seen some space documentaries. I mm-hmm. mean, I broadly know what the planets are. I'm, I'm okay. I'll be honest with you. The reason I'm not interested is we haven't found any life as yet, right? Mm. Outside space. No. The moment that newspaper headlines say we found someone, mm. like from a billion miles away, there's a galaxy, mm. and one guy says, "Hey, bastard," mm. you know, the the first sign. Yeah. You know, because yeah. that's obviously what the alien will say. Correct. Hey, bastard. Hey, Lauro. The first thing that yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, we found it. And it's what I thought it was. It's yeah. just a guy saying a bastard. <laughs> yeah. So, my question is, I have been uninterested. So, tell our listeners where this telescope is. It's way out uh, in uh, this thing because because what they needed to do is they needed to be a, a, a decent distance away from the Earth. So it's okay. uh, it's gotten quite far away and it's beaming these images back and it's it isn't it's using uh, some different kind of waves to get these images back. It isn't necessarily 
purely through light so what, what they're doing is that they are able to see back in time literally wow because because the the stuff that's coming to us is coming now uh so many million years later right i mean the the light or the the rays that's reaching the telescope actually left that place 200 million 300 million 500 million years ago wow so you're actually looking into the past of the universe wow Right, so you're you're looking into a, a, a shouldn't be allowed, no? It always it, feels wrong. It feels the past. It's in the past. Why? Why? I mean, why? Just, yeah. But 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 there's what no I'm, life telescope. Like I can't go into a telescope and see when I was eight years old. Well, that's I what the debate is about. Yeah, because I'm saying now, imagine if someone else was looking back at us. <laughs> <laughs> they and they you know, and they, they were at the optimum kind of distance. Yeah, they'd see what you were doing in the loo when yeah. you were around eight years old. Yeah, you know, and and that would be quite disturbing. Yeah. I mean, what I do in the loo now is disturbing. Exactly. So imagine when I was eight years old. Yeah. So, but this is doing that for the Earth. I didn't know that that that's the old light from. Yeah, I mean, all the light ago. is old. I mean, the light from the sun is like eight minutes old. So, I mean, yeah. so, yeah. so, so, uh, so the light from all these places is even older. It's an old uh, thing that's wow. reaching reaching us. So, so we're looking back into the past, and 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 the thing is that we're seeing uh, galaxies form, and we're seeing them being destroyed, and black holes how they existed many many million years ago, and you know. So, but you're seeing all this, and and in all of that, these just like this incredible amount of space. There's no life. We haven't found nothing. We haven't found shit. Yeah, haven't found the guy saying "a bastard." The "a bastard" hasn't mm-hmm. come up. He's not there. So my conundrum is yes, yes, yes. That when you when you see so much, mm. you know, and it's like it's it's too much. Like mm. this, look at the amount of space. But there's no life, and for, and and forget life. Intelligent life is even further yeah. further off, right? I mean, and we're just talking about life. We're just talking about bacteria. We're talking about like germs. Give me anything. Yeah. My whole conundrum is that. Um, is it like because of this stuff and because of this telescope i don't know whether my life is more meaningful yeah. that i exist yeah. that we exist and we're having this fucking conversation yeah. on a podcast yeah. i mean like you know it's so ridiculous and yeah. so amazing uh, because the people listening in the future we've been dead 200 million years <laughs> yeah, just want to let you yeah. know they're uh, like these guys they were not funny then they're still not, not funny, funny never 200 funny. million years have passed they're still shit <laughs> yeah. but sorry you're gonna I so I, I i i don't know whether you know my my life is completely relevant and yeah. completely meaningful yeah. or is meaningless yeah. like it just means nothing i mean given that there's so much space out there and we're so small and insignificant and we're like like a mini little speck of sand um d- do we even mean anything like what is our what are we doing yeah. there's a great woody allen line where in any hall a kid stops doing homework and mm. his mother says why is he stop doing homework and his teacher says he said there's no point because the universe is expanding <laughs> you know and the universe is expanding and everything is just going to melt and burn so yeah. what is the point of doing homework and his mother says what business is that of yours you're in brooklyn brooklyn is not expanding <laughs> <laughs> it's like that so i think all we can do is just remain in the microcosm yeah and who knows that you know these sometimes hmm. podcasts go out as as rays right because yeah. radio is a frequency yeah yeah so who knows maybe in the whole planet this is all aliens are listening to is our last week hmm i mean that is my serious hope because on earth not very many people are listening hmm So, but you where know, if are they, our if they are coming from, if they are, I yeah. just say that please tell your other alien friends <laughs> to subscribe. Please, <laughs> please, Patreon works there also. Uh, yeah. And if you have any problem converting your currency into dollars, yeah, yeah, you yeah. let us know. We'll take any currency. We are Earth people, no? We yeah. make it happen, and we're shady. We're very shady. Yeah. So, so you think that we should just put this message, like, put it out, like the you know. the Kunal Roy Kapoor telescope? You know, mm, like that mm, has to be mm. the answer. But with the subscription fee yeah <laughs> please subscribe please help us out yeah. so people on earth yeah you know who are listening to our podcast hmm. you know our number but we would like to reach out to other worlds yeah because maybe they'll get a humor because this planet you know has its limitations i mean they are they are not seeing us as humorous they yeah. might see us as a, as an annoyance hmm. as a nuisance but you never know other planets other planets. you know patreon works there it's yeah. no problem yeah Uh, do you 
uh, sometimes find that scientists, mm. you know, who dedicate their life. Like I was watching a documentary on the Mars rover, mm-hmm. which is a small car that's actually riding yeah. around Mars. Right. And each person at NASA has different responsibilities. Mm. And one guy's job is to just drive that rover mm. like half half a mile sort of every day mm-hmm. and to send pictures back to Earth. Mm. There's another guy whose job it is to take care of the leaks on Mars mm. and make sure that the car gets to the leak. Right. So he spent 25 years. He's one of the top scientists in the world. Yeah. Who just every day watches one leak on Mars. Mm. He gets a coffee in the morning, He goes mm. into work and he's obsessed with this one little leak and trying to get this rover to that leak. Mm. So he can see photos of the leak better. Do you think scientists, my Kanata is, scientists spend so much of their life looking at a completely insignificant thing that mm. no one gives a shit about. Mm. Mm. You know, like I think it was a very famous mission to Saturn. Mm. Uh, the Cassini, I think, was mm-hmm. the, the mm. satellite that okay. went to Saturn. And its job was to roam around Saturn and take photos of the rings of Saturn. Mm. And this one scientist in California every day would get up, get a coffee, drop his kids off in school go into an office and just stare at Cassini staring at the rings of Saturn. Yeah. What is he hoping to find? Do you think he's hoping to find like a guy going, help? Like, he's really hoping for a breakthrough, right? Like, all these guys are hoping for a breakthrough of some kind. Well, it depends. I I think that it's been established that there's probably no life on any of the other planets in the solar system. Yeah, I mean, that's not, fairly not, not for Not for certain, but I mean, pretty certain. Yeah. Um, I mean, Jupiter, for example, has storms. It's just basically, it's it's gas. Endless sort of storms and gas. Yeah, it's like yeah. the solar system had Chana Batura. It's, it's my like, stomach. It's your it's stomach. Jupi- yeah. Inside my stomach right it's now is Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah. yeah. I think that his like hope Pluto, was, quick hmm. question. What the fuck even is that? Well, there was always this discussion, is it a planet, is it not? Then it got yeah. dropped off the list, then it, it got added back on. Now, yeah. And now there's arguments that people are saying, don't let anyone tell you that it's not a planet. Don't let anyone tell you it's not a planet. So now I have this a whole... Save Pluto t-shirt. Yeah, Save Pluto, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was big into Pluto for a while. <laughs> yeah. you know? so, I don't think enough people talk about Pluto. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so just, because they're like, no, no, it's not a planet. No, it's no, just, just a big you're rock. one of those Pluto guys. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so long to go around the solar system. Yeah. But anyway. Pluto's dark, no, mostly? Well, it's very far out. So, it yeah. takes like some 200 years to go around. Or some Pluto to go around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, w- what I'm saying is uh, that I think a lot of these scientists, yeah. they, they find many fascinating things, right? Like they when do. They're looking at... The, so, I, so, I mean, it's like like for them, what we're doing is, is pretty boring, dumb. right? Yeah. It's, and dumb. And, and for anyone, it is. For our <laughs> listeners, it is. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm right. saying for a scientist, yeah. it would be highly... Um, but like, if, if I spend my whole life staring at Pluto, hmm. you know, which the scientists, they do that. They look at Mercury all day. Yeah, That's yeah. their job. There's a whole team. Two, three hundred people are putting they're their kids through it, college. They're studying, they're studying it. it. But what are they doing? They're just looking at like Mercury, Pluto the whole day. Yeah. And what, are they hoping to find like a squash game? Like what are they hoping well, to find? Well, see, it, the, the thing is that whenever you find something in science, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're trying, you're expanding your knowledge base, right? Yeah. So I see a lot more value in this than uh, religion, you yeah, know? no, no, hundred percent. So, yeah. So, so I'm saying but that it's still uh, creepy stalking. You know, like if Pluto had people on it, they'd be like, oh, "Fuck, man, hey, why are you looking at me all day?" Yeah? <laughs> so all day you've got these telescopes on me. Yeah. You got two satellites circling around me. I mean, I'm just having breakfast here. <laughs> this is my plan. Go to the loop. I masturbate later. <laughs> yeah. Bastard staring at Can me. Can you imagine if there were fifteen satellites for other planets from yeah. aliens around Earth? Yeah. And you're just like, they're like. And I'm just, I'm just paying my insurance. What yeah. is your problem? You look that way. <laughs> you look that way. You turn your plans. <laughs> you turn our telescope. Side. How do we, as as planet Earth, feel like we can just send these telescopes to and just fucking and just start, spy, start on other spy on everyone? Yeah. There must be alien planets who are like, draw your curtains. Yeah. Shut your door. Don't let them see anything. Don't go out of the house. You know, they must be. Hundred percent. You know how creepy that we are the only species that send satellites out. Looking, 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 looking. <laughs> okay. And someday, some alien will say, Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. This is me. I'm ugly. Happy. Fuck off from here. Hi, welcome to the break. Yeah. We are now listener supported. We are supported by listeners. Support us. Please. Please. 
help us get up in the morning <laughs> yeah uh, so in order to support us please go to uh, patreon.com forward slash our last week and subscribe you get a free episode you get cool merchandise merchandise merch and you get us to participate in your life by coming to your ears yeah it's not grammar? house not house no no sensible listener of our last week has a house yeah yeah so uh, in case you don't subscribe uh, you should go to patreon forward slash r last week subscribe. and subscribe subscribe there are two options there five dollars and two dollars and you yeah. get many different benefits me doing dirty voices that, that yeah I mean those are avoidable <laughs> but you get that please subscribe please do patreon.com forward slash r last week is this voice better no creepy. I thought this is it's creepy. creepy it's creepy so okay Don't scare people. Sorry, but. sorry, <laughs> sorry. Kuda, yes. I have a conundrum about your profession. Mm-hmm. My conundrum is that sometimes people here. You are a famous actor. Maybe it doesn't happen to you, but uh, young actors sometimes get calls from casting agents. Right. And when casting agents in Bombay call an actor. they don't necessarily uh like give them any context hmm. so they call an actor and say i'm pretending to be a casting agent they say uh, kunal sir uh, hello calling from shravas mehta casting hello hello uh sir aap ek bandar hain hmm. they immediately go into the part hmm. Hmm. sir aap ek shark hain hmm. uh, pacific coast mein hmm. aap ja rahe hain hmm. huh? और फिर वो आईसीआईसीआई का एक एजेंट आता है एजेंट आता है आप उसको खाने वाले हैं <laughs> आप खाने वाले हैं आप सोचते हैं मैं खाऊं ना खाऊं मैं खाऊं ना खाऊं मैं खाऊं ना खाऊं फिर वो आदमी एक बंदूक निकलता है फिर आप उसको खा जाते हैं हां और फिर आप आपके पीछे कोस्ट गार्ड आ रहा है आप स्विम 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 करके आप अमेरिका पहुंच जाते हैं जुहू में करेंगे सर दो दिन का शूट है दो दिन का नवंबर में शूट है सर आप ऑडिशन भेज देंगे self test chalega <laughs> self test chalega now the guy has not asked you where you are hmm. your name hmm. are you sitting down are you busy he just immediately got into the film hmm. and my conundrum is shouldn't these people inquire hmm. if you are ready to immediately listen to a screenplay hmm. <laughs> whereas you could be in some other life situation yeah i i was getting my passport uh, renewed <laughs> and i had to get the uh, you know the uh, the police verification mm. and they had come home but no one was there it's for the kids so i had to go to the police station with um, you know with the kids mm. and then so i was providing all these documents and the lady was like like pressing me for more documents yeah. and you know my children had to sign something so in yeah. this i i did get a call and uh, the, you're in a police station i'm in a police station i mean not in the like uh, you know in in yeah. the like the office area photo lagega yeah. aadhar no lagega photo nahi laye aap are yeah. phir so all this is going on and i get this call i don't know why i chose to answer it uh, but i answered it and the person got into a full narration of a, like they said सर सर बहुत एक्साइटिंग प्रोजेक्ट है uh, आप ना ट्रांसजेंडर uh, का रोल है आपको ना योर ट्रांसजेंडर आई एम ट्रांसजेंडर एंड देन ही गॉट इन टू सम पॉलिटिकली इनकरेक्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ नरेशन इन लाइक आई वाज लाइक एक मिनट बट ही जस्ट ही जस्ट लाइक बर्स्ट इनटू इट या एंड इट एंड इट वाज आल्सो स्टारिंग द क्रिकेटर श्रीशांत फॉर सम रीजन आई डोंट नो व्हाई ही योर ट्रांसजेंडर योर अब्यूज और फिर श्रीशांत सर श्रीशांत आते हैं और फिर वो सेक्स चेंज ऑपरेशन करवाते हैं आपका और फिर वो आउट ऑफ लव हो जाते हैं और फिर आपको वापस सेक्स चेंज कर ऑपरेशन करना पड़ता है तो वो इट्स अ वेरी वंडरफुल स्टोरी ऑफ यू नो of a person who <laughs> your your pre-op transsexual then your post-op transsexual yeah, then, then you're again pre-op, pre-op transsexual. transsexual so it it kind of swings <laughs> this will take the transgender argument to the US to another level another next level and yeah. especially if there's cricket involved and match fixing all these things Brilliant. are happening so i i mean i was just like listen main thoda busy hu abhi main main apne bachche log ka passport ka main baad mein karta hu i'll call you later yeah. and i disconnect but yeah. it was a it was a just bad timing I got one where I, as you know last year I had a kidney stone operation. Hmm, hmm. And I don't know why but uh, it's a m- minor operation. Hmm. Uh, and I kept my phone with me while I was being wheeled out of the operation theater hmm. being taken back to my room hmm. in the hospital. And I was as I was being wheeled out I was on my own. Hmm. 
And the phone rang and I was like, what the hell else am I doing? I just picked up the phone and the guy began with, sir, hmm. uh, f- uh, film shoot, sir. Hmm. Okay. We are torturing you, sir. Hmm. We are torturing you. <laughs> and what happens is the main vi- villain, sir, his name is Bhatti. He takes a phone and shoves it in your mouth, sir. Hmm. He shoves it in your mouth. But you don't die, sir. You don't die. When can you send it? <laughs> These were his specific words to it. <laughs> he didn't ask me my name. He didn't ask me what position I was in. Yeah. And I was being wheeled out at an operation. Mm. And then every five minutes after that, he was calling me. Mm. Please send it, sir. Please send it. Mm. Just make sure we get a clean image of of uh, you eating a phone, sir. We mm. need you eating a phone. You know, the, I, the, 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 the slightly ironic thing in these situations... I find is that uh, firstly, as as a freelancer, you feel this need to constantly Every pick up the phone. Every opportunity is an opportunity because yeah. you don't you don't know what you're going to miss. Yeah. You know, so as a freelancer, so it's taken me a while now to just say I'm not answering it. Yeah, they, yeah. It's so important they'll, they'll find WhatsApp them, me. they'll WhatsApp yeah. whatever. So, but but there there was a long time where you just felt shit. I have to yeah. pick this yeah, up, yeah, you know, because it's going to be. Yeah. And the pressure increases uh, to pick it up. When you are in a situation where you've just spent money, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you've just had an operation, five lakhs, yeah, you, yeah. you're just you're Hello? already down. Hello, <laughs> you're thinking, you know, I'll send it. I'll send the, I'll send the test. I'm in my hospital bed. Yeah. I'll send it. But the pressure I'll just to pick eat up this phone. I'll eat the phone. I'll eat the phone. I'll eat anything. So <laughs> when you're at the restaurant, <laughs> when you're at, just being wheeled out, when in you're a fancy hotel, in a fancy hotel, family hotel, vacation, family vacation, and you feel Hello? like, ah, this is the time for me to relax. No, it's the time time for me now to pick up the phone <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. I need to figure out now how are we going to pay for this you know for this passport <laughs> like you this can't you can't relax I said I can't relax right now because yeah. right now if I can't I mean I need to be able to afford this relaxation yeah, or this yeah, operation yeah. so I need to pick up the phone yeah. so then you At end the up picking it up the moment you go doing, to do the job you obviously all of us hate the job yeah and then we're like, I need to relax. Yeah. I'll take this money and relax. And the moment you start relaxing, they're like, I can't relax. Can't, I this can't. is this is the best. Freelance it's, is the best life. It is. My question to you is, my conundrum is, what do you think? Hmm. Picture yourself as a casting agent in a young office. Hmm. What do you think is being told by the boss <laughs> to this group of people you know, what's on the told? first day of their job? Yeah, what's being told is and <laughs> And and the thing is that they don't have any sense of you know how senior a, and the other person they're calling is the old been, person, no, young person, think, been in the industry, not been in the industry. You're they've thinking, been given numbers and names. Names, numbers. Iska mujhe audition chahiye aaj shaam tak. So I need this person person's tape. Yeah. And they have been injected with a certain enthusiasm for this best film that's ever going to be made. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a thirty second film for yeah. uh, for a phone company uh, for a phone company, but it's the best thing. And I think that these casting guys get paid by volume. Hmm. If you can send more auditions, yes, yeah. yes, yes, they want because there, there's that game as well where yeah. they just need the auditions to yeah. show people. I've and got they, thirty. I've got fifty. Yeah, and they it has to be off that film. They can't send old auditions of other things. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. has to be particular so he has to, to this. To record yeah. these lines these and send lines. it. So they are at sometimes desperate. You know? Yeah, they're so desperate. They might call up non actors also. Yeah, yeah. They know? just might just catch people on the street just to get the audition. So, yeah, yeah, char line bolde. Bolde, kya line hai? You know, jealousy you know, is great for the stomach, but it's better for life. Yeah. He's like, but I'm a. I, I'm. I'm, my name is I'm Mukesh Ambani. I'm a billionaire. I don't need to do this. Sir, sir, but I have you now. Just say it. Just say it. <laughs> just say it. I'm your mother. I'm your father. Just say Some alien will say that. Yeah. Still is good for life. Yeah. So they're desperate basically for humans. Yeah, yeah. To say lines into a phone. So they, they'll they call you. You'll be like, listen, I'm, I've given up acting. Because yeah. Why? Because I'm blind and I've lost both my legs. Hmm. And yeah, can you just send, send the tape? Send the tape. By three just, the tape. <laughs> just by three. So the, and the other thing is that I figured is uh, a lot of these calls come yeah. after normal working hours. <laughs> yeah. They sir, always... Hello. Hello. hello sir. sir, sorry to disturb. <laughs> sorry to disturb. And you know that he, you hasn't know, he hasn't quota. met his He hasn't met his target, you know. Yeah. Uh, sir, this film... <laughs> sir, can you send the tape now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like around you 10, know, 30, 11 you know in the night. he's been smacked. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been smacked on his body. Make a call! Yeah. <laughs> 
and you know the moment you say no i can't yeah please sir, please please sir, please, sir. please sir. So, aaj raat agar bech sakte hain to you, bahut acha hoga fuck is going to get one yeah. for a no and for a yes he'll be yeah. fed some food he's actually tied to some snm device <laughs> yeah Kura. Yes. I have a very quick conundrum for you. Okay. About badminton. <laughs> badminton. See, you're laughing. This is what I mean. You're laughing already. No, no. I my conundrum is why I told you right before we started this podcast that I have started playing badminton <laughs> for fun. Yeah. Okay. And you started laughing. Yeah. I mentioned this to another friend of mine, and I said I'm getting. Into badminton in a big way. Yeah, I bought a badminton racket. I bought three shuttlecocks yeah. and a pair of shoes. Hmm. And he started. He's like, <laughs> why? I mean, why do? Bad, why is badminton? If I said I'm into squash, you wouldn't have laughed. Yeah. Golf, you wouldn't have laughed. No. Tennis, you wouldn't have laughed. Why do people laugh at badminton? I I don't know. I mean, it's. Oh, are you I, laughing at me playing badminton? I'm I'm laughing at you playing badminton okay. mostly. Okay, I mean, okay. I mean, honestly, if you had said you had started any uh, yeah. this thing, I would have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a walk. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it wouldn't have made any yeah. difference. But correct, correct. but you're right. Badminton. I mean, I mean, it's a completely it's a very uh, legitimate sport and is extremely difficult. But it's had it's always had this kind of. Humor, uh, humor, and this like this family vibe about it. Like you know, yeah. you play badminton like yeah. uh, very casually. Like there'll be two people playing it at a picnic. Yeah, tuck to the corner. Tick tock. Like if five friends are playing cricket under a building, no one's like, "Oh, you losers playing cricket." But it's you see a couple in tiny shorts, all white, with shoes playing badminton, and people either smirk or laugh. Why is it like that? I think it also depends on the way in which you're playing badminton. Okay. You know, like, like aggress, like, not aggressively. Yeah, like, like no one is smashing. No one mm. is like doing these crazy splits and mm. trying to get to the shuttlecock. Uh, and that's another thing. The the thing is called a shuttlecock. It's always been a little funny to me. And yeah. It's made out of feathers. Feathers. And it's I got think the feathers do it. Yeah. Um, because no one's playing like crazy aggressive proper yeah, like badminton. Yeah, like how professional badminton players. We yeah. don't laugh at them because they're always smashing and they're stretching and they're yeah. going like all. And it's a very tough and physical endurance, and it's a. It's very almost hard like a game. different game for civilians, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I mean, when people are playing it in the wind, and then the yeah. shuttlecock is going all over the place, and they're like, Ooh. oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a little, it's a little dainty that game, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, but I like it. I I got myself a pair of tiny shorts. And I'm getting Are those it. permitted as you are allowed. I, I'm not. I'm. I mean, I've been frowned upon by hmm. the marker. Hmm. And there's the guy in charge of it. He hmm. seems like a smasher. Okay. And he also started laughing at me. Hmm. But he saw that I was not a smasher. That I was a lobber. Hmm. You know, tick. I was going to play badminton like that. But you know, it's. I mean, you you had said for a while table tennis. Hmm. Suffered from that kind of reputation. See, for a table while. tennis is also is a proper recreational sport. Yeah, you know, it's something. It's always uh, been in the carom kind of zone. Yeah, like it's, it's always there in some rec room. Yeah, it's like a recre. It's like oh, oh, we can't go out and like you know play a real sport. Yeah, uh, so we we'll just play. Like, we we'll just throw this table tennis. It's like, always had that con. I mean, it is again a very yeah. very demanding and physically challenging sport. I think the Chinese sport. changed it. I think by just yeah, but it's always been a you know it's it's always been like oh like let's just chill and play some T T or yeah. let's just relax and have a nice little yeah you know, it's raining outside let's play T T yeah That's yeah yeah kind of or when someone says I grew up around table tennis mm. it means they grew up around a table yeah or like their building had a table tennis table yeah or it was it's always most buildings but then you saw the first generation of Chinese Olympians yeah you didn't think those things were possible on a table. Mm. You know, like the other guy. Hmm. One guy smashes the other guy is not even in that stadium. He's somewhere else. Yeah, he's returning he, he's from another city. city. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he returns, and then this guy smashes. Yeah, and he's in some other town. You're like, wow. And then the the, the way they serve, and then the, yeah. all these things are happening. They're banging the, their feet while serving. Yeah. I didn't crazy. know your wrists could turn 360 degrees yeah. to do those things. Really you're like, difficult. no wonder China is such a great economy. But but. Again, nobody starts laughing. No, there's no. not that much humor. I think it's the shuttlecock. It's a shuttlecock. Something cock, about it. Do you think the Bollywood film from the early '80s, where there was a Bollywood song, "Dhal Gaya Dil," correct? 
where Jitendra in All Whites was playing badminton with a lady mm. and they were both sort of full into badminton. You think that had a detracting force for Indian badminton? It, did. it couldn't have helped. It did because they, because I mean then They're people started viewing it as a as a, a dance as a foreplay kind of uh, <laughs> yeah. because dhal gaya din means like the, the the I mean the, the day is over. Mm. It's now evening. Shall we play some badminton? Let's, some, like you know. Let's do a little yeah. yeah. So yeah. the uh, ni 